These are five things I wish I knew about Dartmouth before attending. 4,000 students is really small, and it gets smaller. Your class or the people in your year numbers around 1,000 people, and the campus is ultra small. As a result, gossip spreads quickly, and people know your name, face, and more embarrassing details about you than you'd want them to know. Also, when I say the campus is small, I'm saying I can walk from one end of Dartmouth's campus to the other in about 15 minutes. Therefore, a word to the wise, on such a small campus, don't make enemies. There are only three dining options. There's the Courtyard Cafe, 53 Dining Commons, and the Collis Cafe, and that's pretty much it. At 53 Commons, all you can eat literally means all you can eat, which means avoid the heavily stocked dessert bar, but stay around for Japanese ramen and sushi week. Collis has great stir fry and pasta, and the local apple cider from Vermont is great. The classes are really small. When Dartmouth ranks number one in the U.S. news rankings for undergraduate teaching, it means that undergrads are taken seriously. My opera class was six people. My religion film class was eight people. My women and gender studies class was seven people. Take advantage of the small seminar style of lecture classes by minoring in something that's utterly useless. After all, Dartmouth is a liberal arts school. English, film studies, and art history are highly recommended options. You will live or die by the gym. If you don't want to gain that freshman 15, you'll go to the gym. I lived in the river cluster of freshman dorms. They were furthest from the gym, and during wintertime, it took me a full 15 minutes to walk to the other side of campus to the alumni gym. When you pick your housing, take the proximity of the gym into account. You won't regret it, especially when you have to wake up for those 7 a.m. spinning classes on Tuesday to fulfill your P.E. credit. Fratting is for everyone. I was definitely very nerdy in high school and never went to parties. Neither did a couple of my friends who entered Dartmouth, thinking they were not going to join the Greek system and rush their sophomore year. Lo and behold, as sophomore fall quarter approached, a majority of my friends besides a select few rushed and many joined fraternity or sorority houses. People I'd never classify as typical frat bros or sorority girls pledged fraternities and sororities, and I came to realize fratting is for everyone at Dartmouth. So for more tips and tricks on different colleges and universities, check out our website.